So, well, the Asian economy, what we saw that was most troubling is the data sharing paradigm is gonna explode even from where it is now. From the, if you look at the last 20 years, we've had to share a lot of data to get all the products that we use, the SaaS products. Um, so that, that's this trajectory, right? Or if you're looking at me from the camera, it goes up and to the right. And now it's just gonna go like this because agents need to know a lot about you to be, perform to be performant. So they need your risk profile, if they're gonna trade for you, your assets, your net worth, other financial data, accounts, things that, of that nature. But then if you want them to be an assistant for you, at your, if you're a coder or a marketer or in BD, they need to know your clientele, what your product is, IP, really sensitive stuff. So in a lot of cases, these agents are taking that data from you and they're going to um, achieve their tasks, but they'll, they'll be sharing it with thousands of other agents. And sometimes, right now, we actually have no recourse. We don't really know how to track what the data is because they can be called by any other agent from any other platform because they're just trying, that agent's trying to achieve their objective and maybe this is helpful. So we saw a huge problem there, which was we need data security. I mean, this is a data security nightmare. So um, if you want the DAO that runs a swarm or an agent or the developer that runs a swarm or agent to have true proprietorship over the, uh, the value that that agent or swarm creates, you have to put some walls up around the data to protect it. So we use FHE to protect that data so that it, it, it's basically being transferred in ciphertext. They can't be seen by just, you know, any party that wants to call it. So we saw that as being a huge problem. So, so data sharing is going to explode. We think that means that advanced encryption techniques are not optional, they're mandatory.